Today we're looking inside the EC1600, the Haas Horizontal Single Pallet at this beast of a work holding solution, Matt. Tell me all about it. Well, it is a big one, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's about 10 years old now, actually. And um, PCML were already a Microlock customer. They had bought one of our small vertical tables. And uh, Neil came to me and said, can you do anything for this? Um, so, of course, I, I came and measured it all up. And uh, it, it's the biggest cube we've ever made. It's actually a hollow cast iron cube that was ground all over and then we've bolted six microlock plates to it. It's got an 800 diameter uh, base that sits on this rotary table and the, the actual cube size is 1200 by 800 so it is, it is a beast. We've done a lot of 630, 500 machines but this is an 800 so it's um, now the, the machine configuration is, is a little bit different as well, having an horizontal single pallet, but it can also be used in different configurations. How does this work holding solution really benefit the customer? Well, what it gives him is uh, with this rotary table, obviously you've got the fourth, the fourth axis, but it, having Microlock on there gives him the flexibility to be able to do so many different jobs all at once. I mean, you've got quite a large component in, in aluminium on this side, you can put long components. So it's, it's full flexibility. When Neil, when PCML purchased the machine, they didn't really know what they were going to be making from day to day. So they needed a, a work holding system that gave them the flexibility and versatility. And Microlock really is the only thing that can do that. Well, you're actually kind of really utilising the machine tool strokes and the machine tool's envelope also. Yes, I mean, that's why we went so big. So we wanted to completely encompass the, the machining envelope. And again, advantages of Microlock is what they do at PCML is they take digital photos of setups. So when they get that job again, they just look at the photo, they put all the fixtures where they're told to and, and they're ready to go. So they can change from set up to set up very quickly. Now, can you explain some of the versatility that it offers? So, you, you kind of touched upon the, the, the setups, but can you explain how you could potentially completely load the, the, the system up with small parts? Or if tomorrow a, a, a part that came in that was, you know, 1200 high come in, and you could actually just set up for that quite simply? Explain the versatility, Matt. Right, well what you have is, you have the fixed jaws here. Now they can be used double-sided, so you could literally clamp something very small and fill the table with lots of little parts and, and clamp them. Or on another day, you might decide you need to clamp something very large. You can actually, rather than use these double-sided, you can put the fixed jaws right at the bottom, so you have four along the bottom, and you could have your moving jaws all the way at the top, and that gives you that envelope which so you could easily hold something like a meter by 700 part on this setup which and you I, couldn't do in vices and, I, and i've visited your manufacturing facility you're actually making micro lock units on a system such as this now this is not the only work holding solution that you've supplied um, to this company now you've supplied double-sided columns four-sided columns give the audience a little bit of an, an insight into why you choose one over the other? Well, that choice is normally an application-driven choice. Um, if you want to hold smaller parts, maybe up to, say, 150 square, you would go for a four-sided uh, cube. Gives you, obviously, access to either side of, of each part um, and more sort of stacking a bit ability. Um, you'd go to a tombstone if, obviously, your parts got wider than that and you needed you know, you're basically using a tombstone, like a, a double-sided vertical machine almost, if you're holding bigger parts um, and you want the flexibility to be able to hold big and small parts all with one system. Now, effectively then, you're making them to suit a machine tool and the customer's application. So at what kind of lead times can you manufacture uh, th these two? Well, because we've been around so long, we, we have a lot of patterns um, at our foundry. In, uh, in Thetford. So we can generally turn around things quite quickly, certainly if it's a pattern we already have in stock. So normally you're looking at about 
between sort of four to six weeks for for, for tailor-made cubes to suit suit your requirements. Matt, it's been an absolute fantastic insight into another great work holding solution from Microlot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.